Hello everyone, Diane at Rosehaven Yarn Shop in Picton. What's new? Well, I got my hair cut. That's new, that's for sure. Um, now on an other note, what's new knitting wise? That's what I should have said in the title, what's new knitting wise? The, we're continuing on, so the classes with the cloudlessly uh, we're about the same spot everybody meaning that we are joined now under the arms and so that's the back of it so it's a um, it's like a lace cable pattern that's gonna go the whole back and the she is bringing this back so the front is a V a V neck I'm going to make this one long sleeve. You can also make them short sleeve. And this pattern that is the cable in the middle of the back in the panel going down, it's going to come into the rib at the front and it's going to surround. It's a very beautiful pattern. It's by Isabel Kramer. So um, yeah, so this one will be one that I'll be working during the, the holiday because I'm at the point now that I'm just going into a sort of a round to go down the body so you know you sort of uh, take a, a a bit more time into that pattern in in the back because because of the cable it needs to be in line right so but the rest is sort of straight knitting i love the way that she designs her 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 pieces of um of work um this is the shoulder and coming down to the side arm and under and it's going to be the length of the side of the body there are only one stitch that is a pearl but it makes such a crisp delicate line uh, yeah a very nice design this is knitted in fingering so this is on right now the other one that i'm almost finished it's this guy it's called the single malt it's from Les Garçons, so I did finish uh, one sleeve over the week, and it's a mosaic stitch. And I love, again, this definition. I'll just bring the mannequin closer to you. The definition of the, like, the shoulder to go under the armpit, and, oh, this is sort of a, so, and it continues. Let me just grab this this sleeve here so this is all on the under under the arm but it goes all the way under the armpit but the definition is just gorgeous so it, this one is knitted for a man so it's kind of sad it's on the mannequin with uh, with a breast so <laughs> it shouldn't be shouldn't be that <laughs> anyway so I'm almost I'm halfway done so yeah one more afternoon and this baby is all done I think he's gonna live a little bit at the store uh, just because for a little bit and then he's gonna find his home into my advent calendar that I showed you last week this is the it's going to be for me um, an infinite cowl so it's it's either a very long scarf that will just be because this is on a provisional cast on it's going to be sort of attached or after it the end of making the tube this is one two i'm in the third repeat right now so this is literally like a one repeat that we can see with the pink and the beige so in the yellow there's two repeats and then the yellow will change and i did open the calendar so the next color will be a green and because i'm a bit behind i did not open the other package so i'm i'm pretty sure that the pink will stay uh just because there's another pink that was revealed because she is revealing them in sequence meaning the first one was the pink one and um, I knew it was going to be paired with the beige. And then the third color that was changing was the yellows that she brought. And then she gave us a pink. 
So meaning that the pink will stay and then we got a green and then it's a pink again. So I am positive that the scarf will be pink and it's the background that will change, but I don't know to which color yet, but I'll, you know, this one I'll be bringing in and out uh, just because I want you guys to uh, see what's happening with this guy. One of the classes that's new on the website for January is, and I think I showed you the book, but if you go on the website, you'll be able to see uh, which one of those toys that will be coming up. And um, on the web page, I did put the picture of Horacio, who's a donkey. So yesterday I did start him up. Um, this is going to be done in, so the pattern does ask for sports weight. So the trick of the day, if you don't have sports, you can make sports. So sport weight is the, the size of your yarn. So we do have from lace to fingering to sport to DK and so on and so forth. So if you double up, your fingering weight you will get a sport if you have a light fingering so two light fingering would be closer than the sport two of the fingering would make more of a dk but dk sport are sort of in the same family in the sense that the sport is a thin dk the aim of this when you're making a toy is you don't want to see through meaning that your needles are a lot smaller than what the yarn requires. So, um, Orgesio is made with 2.5 and um, sport weight. He's flipped on the wrong side because I did add the... So, he is going to be pretty big. So, you do start with the nose and he looks more like a cow right now. <laughs> and it is going to change. I think it's so funny. And uh, instead of the, she does ask to put waist yarn just to set where the ears will be. But with those light bulb uh, uh, pins that open up, I just put, so it's three stitches that were uh, identified. And on the next round, three other stitches were identified. So before I continue on with the neck and I'll show you the picture again, he does look like him, but he's going to be pretty big. So, um, yeah, it, I think he's going to be at least 12 inch tall for sure. So, but just to finish my story with the ear is after you marked, we are literally going to, you know, another set of uh, needle to pick up three stitches pick up three stitches and we're going to work in a round to build the ears. So that's where I'm at. So I cannot continue his neck going down right now. And um, so his little eyes went on yesterday. And yes, we do carry eyes at the store. And um, yeah, so he needs face feature. He needs his little nostril. He needs his mouth. And I'm not sure because I'm not one who sort of read a lot ahead of the time in the pattern or ahead of myself. So I don't know if we are going to stuff his head soon, but I know they're, um, yeah, so that's him. He is, yeah, he does look like him. So. The yarn that I've decided to use uh, in the sport, we do have sport weight yarn at the store, but I wanted that, the feel of, of an animal, right? I didn't want the super wash that he's all. So I decided to go ahead with the Jimison, with the Shetland yarn, because it, it's got that feeling to it, right? So this is going to be this color um, of his overall, which is, you know, the color of the store. So I couldn't, uh, couldn't pass that. And for his body, because I'm taking two pieces of yarn, remember, I'm carrying two pieces, I went with two different colors. So one is, is called an umber and the other one is ruby to create that, um, that illusion of, of the coloring of his body. So, yeah, so this guy will take form slowly. 
uh, I will bring him back also so you guys can see it, it's a lot of fun to make toys is a lot of fun there's always a lot of learning even in this one there's a new way she teaches uh, to do the short row which is a way I've never seen before so that was super interesting um, because the first thing she says it's a toy you don't want holes right so but it's a different total way uh, to teach short rows I would be very in yeah, curious I would say um, to try it and see in a garment what it does but that's for another day um, calendar advent calendar to knit the one stripe a day we are I'm doing toe up and so trick of the day you're doing two sock at a time and your ball are getting all tangled up when you're ready put them in the sock right so you just push it in and so when you're ready to start again they are not all twined together so now I'm ready uh, so the aim of this is honestly is a stripe a day which is total fun it's about four to five rows she did decide to do sort of a grading um, or a fading in colors so in here that was kind of a mm, am I done am I done but we can see that there's one there's two there's three so this was a, a three color and I'm at the portion it's a new pattern it's not I I um, I do not how can I say that toes up are fun to make but I don't find that the heel is as uh, springy and the way the fit the heel so I do prefer cuff down let's put it that way but once in a while uh, I like to make toe up so this one is a toe up which is always fun because it's that that look of you don't you don't even know like there's no line there's no separation and I did use the um, toe up duty like the magic cast on by no the the super surprisingly um, loose bind off of duty she does have a tutorial for a toe up which I think is sort of the best combination of all the toe up um, way like you've got the figure eight you've got different ones but we did talk about that so but this is not the discussion of the day and the front of my foot i did put a cable which looks very very nice i've got to admit so and you can wear them that the cable are you know touching or you can wear them that the cable are on the opposite side um so yeah so this one is kind of a i'm gonna say like a duck beak for the heel is just that you are decreasing and then uh, we're gonna go up so it's not as solid the back of a sock but the the this one is called I think a sock on a plane yeah that's exactly it it's sock on a plane so and they don't have a picture of the heel but as you're reading the pattern uh, you realize that that it's sort of different from the one that I'm teaching that's for sure okay um, so yeah so this one by the time we're back in January it's going to be done because it's you know for December so back in January you guys will see the end project of those socks and those socks will stay with me one thing I didn't talk to you about so any spoiler alert anybody who's doing the mystery knit along gnome if you don't want to know nothing turn me off and if you're curious stay with me uh, this is my third December that I do participate in her December um, mystery knit along so you don't know what gnome you'll get you don't know what he's gonna look like the only thing we knew in advance is you needed four colors and um, my trick of the day again I decided to do three gnomes so what it looks like is and I don't want to lose everything from here but it just looks like a whole bunch of different yarn but I did think ahead of what do I want it together so my trick of the day is take a piece of cardboard and just identify master color and C1 C2 C3 for contrast contrasting colors 
put a little piece of yarn. So uh, some of the clues, she's saying, you know, start with C3 and join C4 for a few rows. So it's easy just to refer to this instead of, oh, which one did I put together? And uh, yeah, so you can use a piece of cardboard. You can use the label if you want to save your yarn um, or, or remember which type of yarn. I think it's in here that I've got one that I did that. Yeah, so the Smorsberg, uh, that, that big shawl of Stephen West. So this is a cute journal that I keep uh, my project in, but that's the label and I just glued or, or you know, um, scotch tape down the label, but I did have all my, because it was just letters, so you've got your letters and I did keep the label because I honestly um, like, it was a blue face Lee sister and it was a washable one and I, um, yeah, so this way I keep the label, it's with me, and I do have identified my color. You can totally just, like this one, I did the small mitt for Veronique's class, and I just put two pieces of yarn, and I just put them down. So, because you you know when you're doing it, but when you're, um, you want to refer back to it, it's like, eh, I don't know exactly what I used. Yeah, this one was a little piece of paper. And um, some of you know I do watercolor, so sometimes with my scrap of watercolor, that's that cardboard that I take. So anything that you have that you can, um, you know, identify your colors. So that being said, back to the gnome, I'm doing three different gnomes. And I love the format that she has. Um, she does have during the year other uh, mystery, but it doesn't last for a full month. For December she's got days that she's got a story and it's literally like the gnomes throughout the time that she's putting in the story uh, she's got recipe the recipe is really good this year actually me and my neighbor we both did it and uh, yeah it's uh, it's kind of a fudge with pieces of candy cane on top and peppermint essence and yeah it's very cool so the first day if we did get you know it says mystery uh, object one, mystery object two, and then you're just building up and there's days, like I said, you're not knitting, there's days that you're knitting. So this is, okay, just get ready for the ooh-ah. Oh my goodness. So I don't know how he fits in the story because he's not the gnome. And, and remember I said I did three of them. So this is number two. And this is number three. I always say that with Sarah Shira, it's so much fun because she's showing you, like on this tutorial, for sure, you're learning how just to do a little bit of embroidery on to your, I'll show you this one because the pink shows more. It's super easy to do and often we're afraid to do new things, but yeah, the, the video that she puts on, one of the clue that she did give was like one of the color and I think was C2, no, the C3, she said I want it in the orange family. So obviously at one point I got to admit, I realized that we were doing a snowman. So yes, these guys all have the bright orange nose uh, because I did have some. So, but in reality, um, in the orange family for the three of them, I had three different, you know, some were more of the uh, uh, burnt orange than the other. But, okay, one of the new clue is this one. So I am not behind today, we're continuing on. So in this, we have this as a clue. We have this, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be his scarf that we're probably going to, you know, match. Is the match of which one? It's a, yeah. So he, this one is the snowman of this, um, this color one, because I did, you know, they match up and that's the nose of this guy. And I know he's, it's the nose just because I made so many of Sarah Shira. So yes, it's one of the clue, but I, I know it's, a, it's one of the, it's a nose for sure. But I don't know what he's going to look like. So in the next few days, 
and probably if I do go because now it, we're past 10 o'clock we probably have the clue of today and um, so what she made us do when we build this it's just that I decided to block we were you know if you wanted to you could have blocked the hat of the snowman but I was too excited to keep on knitting that I didn't block it what a difference like the I blocked the hat of um, this is going to be the gnome so this portion here would have been more flat and the brim would have been more out but it's a snowman he lives outside so he's just so cute that he's got his his um, his hat all crooked up so I did she was saying to stuff if you want to block and it was totally your choice um, she wanted the the brim to be flat and she wanted us sort of to stuff to give a shape to the top so what I did is either box of cereal whatever I just took a piece of cardboard the the width that I wanted here and that's what I had the hat dry on so once you remove this piece of cardboard the hat is standing on its own and it's got a nice shape and form well there was a lot of clues in this video and a lot of little tricks for you guys so one of the things she makes us do is she makes us thread a piece of yarn because now we are going to flip and we can see the row that she wants us to pick up stitches because that's always how she starts is we she we start from the head well there's a few she starts from the bottoms but i'm gonna say 90 percent of the time she goes uh from the top down so we're gonna pick up the stitches inside and then we're going to knit the gnome so can't wait to see what this guy's gonna look like so this one too i will bring in mine because i'm making three some will be a christmas gift I think I showed you everything I wanted to show you. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, so uh, next Thursday, or this coming Thursday, I did inverse <laughs> the days into the ad that I put on. So if, Joan, you're watching, you're totally right that I did uh, mix those up. But we do have classes on Thursday from 2 to 4. And then it's going to be, you know, a little rest, a little bit of traveling and seeing family. So on that note, I do wish you a very good Christmas. I will not see you guys next Sunday. I'll see you in, I would have to have a calendar in front of me, but I think it's going to be the Sunday after New Year. So we'll have a little break of a two weeks seeing each other, and then you'll be able to tune in again. And um, yeah, you'll see that this guy is going to just grow and grow, which I can't wait to see the next color that I'm going to put on. You'll see uh, the gnomes, you'll see... Oh, Hasio, where is that donkey? What stage he's at? He's so fun to me. And the thing I wanted to tell you, when you're doubling up, your needles are smaller. You're kind of a, it's, oh, oh, right? Like it's a tight, tight, tight uh, fit because where he is. I just wanted to point that out before I close for the day. So, so this knitting is, is very tight. Right? So even if you're pulling on it, it's tight. And that's how it should be because it's going to be literally a toy. And hopefully once he's all stuffed, I think it's this curve here that makes him so far look more as a cow right now. But I think when he's all stuffed up um, and his head is more rounded, he's going to look more like a donkey. But yeah come back in uh, three Sundays and you'll see I'm pretty sure he's going to be done by then. So have a very good Christmas and I'll see you all in January. Bye!